with shiny we also require sometimes to create interactive scatter plots so you have a choice of selecting any x axis variable and any y axis variable also we sometimes require to create scatter plots using ggplot options so in this video we are going to see how to create interactive scatter plots using base graph option and also ggplot options so now let's get started here we first of all go to the new file shiny web app to create a new shiny application as you see that i have named it as scatter and hence now two files have been created ui.r and server.r as you will find that with ui.r there is a fluid page function which has two arguments namely title panel related argument and sidebar layout argument with main panel you see this is our title bar this is our sidebar and this is our main panel in our sidebar panel we intend to have two drop down boxes out of which one we want for the x axis variables and another we want for the y axis variables and in the main panel we want our chart to be created so hence according to the plan let us modify the title panel with our title and in the sidebar panel i am going to specify the select inputs well the first select input which i have specified is for x axis variables over here we plan to have two things another also for y axis hence we require to specify one more argument to this sidebar panel function and i copy paste this because i want same set of variables over here only the thing is i am going to name this differently which will be for y this also will be for y maybe we can have its order changed so hence it's all set to have the sidebar panel now let's think about main panel in the main panel we plan to have the scatter plot so hence let us name it as scatter so hence accordingly we are having these three controls named two inputs and one output var x var y and scatter l var x var y and scatter so the mechanism which we want to build is specify the variables in var x or specify any variable in var y and generate the scatter plot over here the actual generation of scatter plot is now going to happen in server.r we require to modify this accordingly now as we see that we are having the name given with the output id as scatter so let us name this as scatter because the output object is now going to call scatter now in our render plot function we are going to place the code of scatter plot as you observe that we want two variables in our graph hence i have selected the two variables rather i can say i have subseted my data frame for those specifically two variables so one variable will be the variable which will be selected from varex control that is the control which we are planning here varex control another variable from vary control well and our data frame will be created accordingly now i have placed the newly selected variables as mtc1 and mtc2 so the first variable will be selected as a x axis variable and second variable will be selected as a y axis variable you can add few more options as you want with this plot first of all let us test this so i 
will save this and now I will test this by running the app hence we see one thing that the layout has been created correctly and also we can specify as we specify the variables the plot is changing but there are few things remaining as far as the view is concerned the variable names accordingly are to be modified and also title needs to be specified let's do that so hence this has been done here well also you will find I have specified a plotting character let's test this app hence as you can see that as we change the variables accordingly the scatter plot gets changed for creating similarly with ggplot options we don't require to change ui.r but we require to change server.r code the plot function which we have called needs to be replaced with ggplot function hence as you can see i have done this mind it well over here that the columns need to be specified according to the newly subsetted data frame you cannot directly reference any name in this application or I can say name of variable directly cannot be referenced in this application as this is a completely dynamic one now let's test this app and as you see the app is now ready in case if you want to add one more aspect to this graph like uh, color so we want a color for a category so we need to specify the third variable accordingly let's do that so as accordingly our plan changes over here in my sidebar we want another drop down box for color let's do that now as you see I have specified some variables for coloring also a modification will be required for this server.r we require to add color options accordingly so first of all while subsetting we require to add the third variable in our MTC frame hence I have added the third variable as you see the third variable name is color and hence this has been added over here hence accordingly we can use it in our ggplot options hence as you see that color has been specified here let's run this and accordingly as you see that the color has been specified well one thing what you can see over here is we have got gradient coloring if we want the discrete coloring then we require to change the type of these variables into factor let's do that in our code you see now we have added this particular statement because we want the third column to be a factor that's why let's test this out and hence you see that we have got the coloring accordingly the way we wanted different colors for different categorical values still as you see there is a scope for improvement for this particular graph as you see that we require to change the x-axis levels y-axis levels and accordingly the title let's do that you will find that accordingly I have changed this by the labs option so in labs option I have specified call names mpc1 which will give me the exact column name for the first column which will be dynamically subsetted then the second column name which will be dynamically subsetted will be y and the color chosen also will be there according let's test this app now hence you will see that as we are specifying or as we are changing the different options accordingly the graph is getting modified also accordingly I have added the title as in the previous graph of scatterplot and let's 
press this and you will find everything in place thanks for watching this video the links of the code of the two apps will be given in the description box please feel free to try these codes on any of the data set of your choice if you like this video please click the like button and also for latest updates from me please subscribe to my channel thank you